Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Motorcycle Rescuer and this is our Lexmoto Tempest. So anyone interested in the DNA 125, pop over to Nat, Nat's Knacker's Yard, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, he's painting it, so you can see him painting it. You can get some tips and tricks and uh, it's going to look amazing. He paints so, so good. Absolutely, by far, best painter I know. Um, especially out of cans, guys. But this video is going to be a how to turn a 600 pound bike into a 1500 pound bike within an hour now obviously that doesn't include waiting for parts but let's see what we've got we've got original handlebars these are aftermarket ones they're quite cool but i don't think they suit the bike and they're better originals left clutch lever there rear left indicator for that one to be fair i might just use the lens uh, and new left switch gear there. We're putting on the original flat tracker seat. The calf racer didn't suit it. And the absolute final piece of the puzzle is a brand new tank. Brand new tank. Now we've gone a little bit different with that tank. So you'll have to wait and see that. It's going to be a, uh, an interesting one. Uh, it's going to be the only bike in the country. Because this is the Tempest GT. It has the original, um, it will have a screen on it and stuff. It's going to be the only one in the country with the colour that I've picked. The only one in the country, because at the moment the GT is made in this colour only. So this will kind of be a one-off bike, unless you, of course, buy yourself a different colour tank and you do some of the little tweaks we're going to do today. So, let's start. I'm going to start by breaking this one down. That's just the easiest thing to do. I'm going to take off all the bits that need to come off, including the tank. And then I'm going to start putting bits back on, I guess. I think the tank will be absolutely last. So we want left switch gear off. If you can't get it off like that, undo the bolts fully. We want old left clutch lever off. We want right switch gear off. We want right brake lever off. They should all be hanging Alright guys, so like Jake, everything's hanging loose. Um, now you get to whiz off these bolts here. Nice. People have been telling me I should uh, buy one of these guns and I've been like, I've got three or four guys. I just choose not to use them. Get rid of these old bars, they're bent and crap, they're going straight in the bin. So guys, obviously this tank was full to the brim. Um, so annoying actually but uh i'm draining it now and i'm going to start taking off the front light now anytime we get down to here guys clean it this is where we need to clean okay because it's hard to clean when the bars are back on i need to take this frame off clean and put the new frame on that has the front shield so clean this area first then i'm going to take this off put the new one on with the new shield it's going to look pretty cool actually Again, with these areas here, clean them while you can. Once again, guys, Jake's come up trumps with his uh, oil extracting machine to extract the fuel on this occasion. Such a good machine, that. Honestly, so good. You plug it onto your battery, you suck out any fluid you want to suck out. There it is. It's like therapeutic. This is ASMR. This is that sleep stuff. Yes, you've got loads there, mate. You're winning. Yeah, but it's about finding the sweet spot. And saying, who's the daddy? <laughs> so guys, this machine can be used for oil changes if for any reason your, um, your nut got stuck or you just didn't want to mess with it. You can feed this down, get the majority out. You're always better off doing it, running your engine, taking the nut out and letting it spill naturally. 
but on some occasions this this would be absolutely spot on and um, this is going to help us out with the ZL600 after as well because we need to drain that tank and I'll be interested to see how bad that fuel is it'll be very dark I think this is nice this is very fresh fuel this is there it is We've got the mother load All right, guys, so front uh, bracket is on here. Jake's over there sorting out the new petrol tank, which we're not showing you until the end. Um, so that's the front bracket. That holds the front Lexmoto windshield, which is, which is cool. I like it. So uh, that just simply sits here. Next bit for me, I think, is handlebars. Get all the handlebars on, clutch levers. I've already routed the new switch gear. That simply comes through here and, and collects there. You plug that in. That's all good and done and dusted. Give this a bit of a wipe down while you're here. I have done a couple of times, but it needs a bit more. Um, we're getting there, getting there. We're probably half an hour into the project in real time. All right, guys, we're in the cater done. Jake just done that. Handlebars are on, ready. Now, everything around the handlebars goes on by taking apart, but sometimes they don't come apart. So what you need to do is slide them on with these bars not torqued down slide the left on slide the right on get it set up but we can set this up properly now anyway so i'm going to get the clutch lever on we're going to get the left switch gear on jake you can do the right sides all the throttle and stuff and we'll have all this ready anything that's got a bit of dirt on this is the time to clean it so in a minute you're going to see left clutch lever left switch gear left handle uh, grip my left new switch gear is on guys Jake's still working on his. Of course. No rush. Um, yeah, cool. Let's get this. Sorry, I didn't even take this thing apart. I don't even remember how it goes together. It's two bolts, mate. Go on then. It's two bolts. One and two. But it helps if I've got the two bolts. The They're there. I've got, I've got one bolt. There's loads. I've got spares and all from the old ones. Here, look. Do you need a long one? There's a long one. I need ones that go in. Is that good? I'll tell you when it bolts up. Of course it'll bolt up. Took it out myself. Okay guys, handlebars are sorted. I like them, they're original. They look better than the others. The others were quite cool, they were quite quirky. Um, front screen isn't on yet, I'll put that on in a bit. We're hooking up the battery because we need to check all of the wiring and there's loads of wiring on this bike that just isn't plugged in anyway. Um, but we need to check that all of our switch gear is working up here. So Jake's just re-plugging in everything at the back. And then Jake, there was some sort of wire down here. These two. No idea. I think they're rear brake light switch. Uh. What we'll do is we'll chuck this together. We'll hook up the battery. Check that everything's working. Sat there and didn't realise. We're just looking at the wiring, guys. It's pretty bad. We think when they tried to wire up the alarm, they didn't realise it was a plug and play. All of the Lexmoto stuff comes with a plug ready for an alarm. It's probably this one, Jake, actually. In fact, Jake, it is this one, isn't it? So you unplug yeah. that, you plug the alarm in. And this alarm appears to have that adapter, but they've spliced into the rear wiring loom and that's caused lots of problems on the rear, on the rear, on the rear wiring loom. So um, yeah, we're trying to work that out. I mean, guys, it's not long and it all works. It just needs to be plugged in and it needs to be checked before you do anything else. That's all. So we're going to plug it all in, the battery's on, and just check it before we do anything else. Okay, guys, so Jake's just going to check all the wiring. All right. Oh, good, we've got a rear light, Jake. Hang on, have we got a front light? No, I think the front light comes on when... Um, I think front light comes on when the ignition's on. Yes. All right, indicators, Jake, left and right? Left. Oh, good, look, you can see the back's on as well. Rear light, um, brake lights, Jake? Oh, result, and the rear one? Great, uh, horn? Wow, that's a loud horn. I guess it's needed for your little fake triumph. Um, so that's it guys for the wiring. The wiring's good to go. As long as the uh, ignition and stuff works, which it will, then uh, great. Where are we next now, Jay? Where, where, where are we? What stage are we at? Final bit, really. Which is, we need to put the shield on. 
What's the mileage on this? Uh, 1,929. 1, wow. Just under 2,000. Same as my uh, my Harley, actually. <coughs> just got just I just hit the 2,000 mark. <laughs> All right. Uh, so core. So what happens now? So tank. I guess we get on Gumtree look for another project. Well, let's get rid of this one first. Tank, rear seat, front. Um, front screen down there. Alright, I'm going to throw the front screen on guys. That's the next step. Rear seat is a clip on. Me and Jake will throw the tank on and then we'll show you it and we'll do maybe a quick spin. So here it is guys, the final product. This is a Lexmoto Tempest GT, the only black and silver one in the country. They don't come like that. They only come in the red and black. This bike has the original flat tracker seat, although the new owner can have the calf racer seat as well. The exhaust sounds amazing. That tank is just stunning. It's brand new, guys. It was in its box. And then you've got the windscreen, which I think looks really good. Shame about the Lexmoto sticker on it, but what can you do? Uh, honestly, guys, this bike is just mint top to bottom. Absolutely mint condition. And uh, we've checked every button and everything. What we're a tiny, tiny bit worried about now is filling up the new fuel tank because we had to transfer everything from that side to here and you just know that there's a risk of it leaking. So uh, let's chuck some fuel in this bad boy. Let's hope it doesn't leak straight back out. And then we'll fire it up. I'll throw the GoPro on and we'll go for a test run. What do you think, guys? The, um, the flat tracker seat, the scrambler seat like this with the upright bars? or the calf racer seat. I don't like the kind of suede of the calf racer seat. I think this bike looks, yeah, no, it, it suits, not. it suits. Okay, fuel, let's get some petrol in this thing. All right guys, so we're all good to go. Um, we got the alarm hooked up on this as well. We've got the alarm and a mobilizer, which is good. It's a very loud alarm, which is great. Let's uh, warm this thing up, couple of minutes to warm it up and then I'll throw on my Actually, you can't warm this on the stands, can you? Oh, you can warm it on the stands. So, uh, warm it up, sounds amazing. I'm gonna chuck my helmet on and we'll do a test run on the GoPro. Sounds good, eh?